Welcome to Infine Minute. In this video clip, we will discuss the image frequency in super heterodyne receivers and the concept of double spotting. We have discussed that in super heterodyne receiver, we down convert the incoming signal frequency, which is the station frequency or the carrier frequency to the intermediate frequency. So the entire range of frequencies in my receive signal, which is from FC minus FM to FC plus FM, which is present around the carrier frequency of FC will now be present around the intermediate frequency of 455 kilohertz. This was done so that the operation of the receiver is at constant and low frequency, which helps us to overcome all the drawbacks of tuned radio frequency receiver. Now let us uh, try to understand what is image frequency in super heterodyne receiver. I have considered one situation in which the station frequency is equal to 1 megahertz. So the signal that will be received by the receiver is going to be having the carrier frequency of 1 megahertz and there will be both lower and upper sideband present around 1 megahertz with the total bandwidth of 2 FM which is the bandwidth of DSBFC. Once the signal reaches to the mixer, the local oscillator will also provide second input signal to the mixer the local oscillator frequency is FS plus IF as we had seen uh, in the previous video clip. Now FS in this case is 1 mega because that's the station frequency of the received signal and intermediate frequency is 455 kilohertz which is the standard value used in AM receiver systems. Now if we work this out my FO the frequency that the local oscillator will generate comes out to be 1.5 four five five megahertz as per the mixer operation we will generate the output of the mixer in the form of fo minus fs and fo minus fs uh, will come out to be 455 kilohertz as required so now my entire signal will be present around 455 kilohertz which is the intermediate frequency to understand the concept of image frequency we are assuming that there is no valid radio station available at 1 megahertz. This means if I tune my receiver to 1 megahertz, then all I'll be receiving is the noise signal because there is no valid information signal transferred at 1 megahertz. In spite of that, when you tune your receiver to 1 megahertz, the local oscillator will generate its equivalent frequency which is always the frequency to which the receiver is tuned which is FS plus 455 kilohertz. Mixer output will always be taken in the form of FO minus FS which comes out to be 455 kilohertz and hence entire receiver will treat the incoming signal as if there is a valid radio station. But because that is not the case, the output of the speaker in the form of a sound signal will be simply the noise signal. We will not be able to listen to any meaningful signal at the output of the speaker. So this is the situation that we have in the first case. 